One of the best ways to see the British Virgin Islands is, of course, by boat. Sailing is one of my favorite pastimes. And when I tell you, Voyage Charters, top notch. 100% they give you everything that you can desire. A private chef, a very experienced captain. He even told me a story about Norman Island and it's stored for pirate booty. Yes, one of the sites from Treasure Island and we can probably find some gold right here. We're actually going to go exploring tonight at Willie Tea, which is a beach bar in the ocean on a huge barge. It's right behind me and we're going to get more vibes and maybe find some treasure at Norman Island. We are at the moment, we're in Norman Island. We're in the bites all around us. And this island is based off the island called the book, which is called Treasure Island. So the legend has it that the Spanish had five cargo ships that they loaded up with gold and they were involved in a hurricane. And only three of the ships made it out. The ships made a run for the coast of America, I believe it was North Carolina, and loaded the gold on land and um, a group of Englishmen stormed the barracks and they tried to take the gold. Um, and after that, they, the Spanish decided that they would load the gold back onto two ships and set sail and sail it to Spain. But they hired a group of Englishmen which were going to take the ships to Spain um, and the Englishmen had different intentions. They decided to take the ships and sail to the British Virgin Islands. The captain of one of the ships had been here before and so that is where he got the idea and so he stole the ships. Shortly after leaving, one of the ships hit a reef just off the coast, so he didn't make it anywhere. The other boats, after two, three weeks on a broad reach, made it right here to the British Virgin Islands. And he first arrived here on Norman Island, and he dropped off two of his men, dropped off all his cargo, and he went into clear customs in St. Thomas, where he got arrested. Um, his men were discovered, but the gold wasn't discovered. And so what happened is the Tortolans heard about it, and they descended on the island to dig up the island. The captain of the ship went to prison for 10 years on Eustasia. And after coming out of prison, once he'd served his prison sentence, he became a prominent businessman of which his capital is disputed. About 150 years ago, there was two, three chests of silver found in the southernmost cave off the snorkel spot today called the caves. Alright guys, so we are sailing in the beautiful British Virgin Islands where you know there are over, uh, or uh, should I say about 60 island island caves and keys, rocks included, and one of them, or a few of them, are called the Indians. Now it is said that... Christopher Columbus came in at sunset and he saw the silhouettes on the water with the glow of the sun and he thought it looked like Indians, so he called it the Indians. And he would definitely know what the Indians look like. <laughs> um, so, so, so we're here and we're flying our drone and we're just having a great time. It is uh, a Tuesday morning um, and your Tuesday morning will never be the same when you come to the British Virgin Islands. Okay? And get you a, 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 a captain like Matt. For sure. Oh, and a drone. <laughs> Okay, so we are at Norman Island and we have been looking for treasure. We did not find any, but we did find a whole bunch of pelicans. I mean, when you come visit the British Virgin Islands, you have to look for the pelicans. They're amazing. Look at them over there. <laughs> 